Hello friends, this video on mineral nutrition part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now we will talk about the fourth and the last process of the nitrogen cycle that is ammonification. So what is ammonification? Process that converts organic nitrogen into ammonia. Now, so you might be wondering what is this conversion of nitrogen to ammonia now? Because when we were talking about nitrogen fixation, we told that that is all about converting the atmospheric nitrogen gas into ammonia. Now again we are saying we have to convert organic nitrogen. So what is this organic nitrogen? Now when I say organic nitrogen, I mean the nitrogen which is present inside the body of a living organism. Just now I told right that living organism needs nitrogen to form proteins, DNA, amino acids, right? So now when an organism dies or when the organism excretes wastes, then nitrogen is present in their tissues in the form of organic nitrogen. So converting that organic nitrogen into ammonia is known as ammonification. So please understand the difference between ammonification and uh, nitrogen fixation. In nitrogen fixation, you convert the atmospheric nitrogen gas into ammonia. But in ammonification, you convert the organic nitrogen which is present in the tissues of living organisms once they are dead or once they excrete. So this conversion is called ammonification. The microbes which are involved in this process are prokaryotes mostly and some of the fungi. So these microbes decompose the tissue and release the inorganic nitrogen back into the ecosystem as ammonia. And this ammonia is available for uptake by plants and their microbes for growth. For example, this is the case. So this process was atmospheric nitrogen to ammonia. This process was nitrogen fixation, right? Now ammonia to nitrate. This process was nitrification, right? Now nitrate back to atmospheric nitrogen. This process was denitrification. And now when this plant dies, suppose the plant dies or the plant excretes out something. So that will also have some organic nitrogen. So converting that organic nitrogen, so that organic nitrogen into ammonia, that is called ammonification. Suppose this is wastes. So this is ammonification. So the ammonia which is produced is it can again be utilized by the plants. Right? So these processes all together form the nitrogen cycle. So now let us quickly look at the nitrogen cycle as a whole. This is how the entire nitrogen cycle will look like. This is the atmospheric nitrogen. This atmospheric nitrogen is utilized by the nitrogen fixing bacteria and they convert it into ammonia and the ammonia further is converted into nitrites and then it is converted to nitrates. These nitrates can be utilized by the plants. When the plants die, the decomposers will act on them and ammonification will take place. So ammonia will again be formed. Right? And again, denitrifying bacteria will convert the nitrates in back into the atmospheric nitrogen. So this entire process is known as the nitrogen cycle. Now with this, we have reached towards the end of this lesson where we will conclude with giving some significance to soil because soil is the reservoir of all the essential elements. We spoke about so many important elements like we spoke about nitrogen, phosphorus, calcium, magnesium, iron, so many of them. And everywhere you saw that most of them are obtained from the soil. So soil is the reservoir of all essential elements. So if you look at the significance of soil in the life of a plant, it is like huge. They provide nutrients like phosphorus, sulfur, sodium, potassium. They supply minerals. They harbor the nitrogen fixing bacteria because when you talk about rhizobium or any other uh, nitrogen fixing bacteria, they are all present in the soil. From the soil, they enter into the root uh, of some plants and form nodules and all those things. But initially, they are present in the soil. So soil provides a... Uh, uh, place or a shelter for those bacteria as well. Soil supplies water to the plants. Soil also supplies air to the roots of the plants so that, so that the roots can breathe in. And last but not the least, 
soil provides the base so that it can give anchorage to the roots so that because the plants want to be steady so that is why the roots should get properly fixed on this in the soil right so the soil is like a multi-purpose thing for a plant without soil it is very difficult for the plants to exist however the hydroponics techniques are there but soil has got everything into it but when you actually try to do the same using hydroponics you need to take care of the nutrient solution that nothing should be missing there so soil is an excellent reservoir of all essential elements thank you Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.